Yoga has many benefits. For me, one of the most noticeable improvements is on my posture. It's not to say that I have the perfect posture, but against gravity, aging, habits, and other external factors that are either amenable or inevitable, maintaining a good posture is always a work in progress. So today in this video, I wanted to share with you three ways how yoga has helped me improve my posture. Hopefully this will give you a bit of an idea and some inspirations on how to find your best posture easier and most effectively. So long hours of sitting, either at a desk, typing, working, or on a couch. Slouching is an unfortunate but so, so comfortable norm for a lot of us, me included. I mean, I know not to slouch, I don't really want to slouch, but sometimes, more often than not, it's just so much easier to be in a position than sitting up straight. And honestly, I don't always notice my own posture, often not until my mom taps me in the back and says, hey, don't slouch. And she actually had to do that quite often before. Luckily, a big part of yoga practice is the poses, which is called asana in Sanskrit. Teachers guide students to poses on the mat by telling them where to put their hands and their feet. So first, yoga helps our posture by improving our body awareness. And yoga poses generally put us in bizarre places that we don't commonly find ourselves in. So it really puts the mind to work just thinking about which way is forward when you're upside down. As time goes on, I become more and more aware of where my body is in space. And when tension starts building up, I can notice it sooner and I can have a better understanding and better idea of where the tension is building up. And this better sense of body awareness helped me catch myself sooner when my posture is off. It's sort of like a built-in sensor reminder to roll the shoulders back and sit up straight. Yoga asana offers a great way for us to check and balance our physical well-being. And to check for your posture, one of the best ways is against a wall. You can find these four touch points of your body against the wall from your heels, the back of your pelvis, your shoulder blades flatten, and the back of your head. In general, this is a good reference point to start because it really provides you a sense of being in this straight, tall, up position and it's also a really good reality check because you will soon start noticing that standing like this actually takes up a lot of effort the first and foremost the most important part of it is your stance so when you stand this is not making me self-conscious at all <laughs> so when you stand you want to press firmly into all ten toes so that you can find an arch on the inner and the outer sides of both feet. This gives you a very solid foundation to stand tall. And the second element in this good posture is engage the core. And I often describe it as zipping up the jacket. This invisible zipper runs from the lower belly all the way up to the bottom of our ribcage. So when you zip it up, you kind of gently snug and tuck everything into this midline. Just enough so that you can still remain the hip creases pointing straight forward, leaving a little bit of space between the lower back and the wall just enough to slide one hand through. Another tricky part about standing up against the wall to practice good posture is flattening your shoulder blades up against the wall. This gives you a sense of lifting up, but it can be tricky to find the sensation understanding of how and what it means to squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. So I learned this trick from my trainer. She used to put a pen up against my spine and ask me to squeeze in my shoulder blades so that the pen doesn't fall off. With the shoulder blades squeezed in towards the back, you can now let them flat onto the wall. 
and if you slide them down towards the floor now you arrive in tadasana standing pose in yoga in this standing pose a good posture not only let you bring the shoulders to the back it also opens up the chest so that you can take a fuller breath in and the airflow that goes into the body is not disrupted which is really really essential and important for the third way why yoga helps me find a better posture Being in a good posture essentially means that our physical body is in the alignment that it's designed to be in. The double S curves in the spine is our body's design response existing under gravity. That's actually a really brilliant design. And an open chest provides the optimal amount of space for our lungs to take in the fullest breath that it can take. If you think about it, our breath is actually the only aspect of our lives, of our existence, that is with us from the beginning all the way till the end. It's literally the definition of life. So while breathing is instinctual and almost second nature to us, a lot of things can affect the quality of our breath, which can trigger a cascade of problems down the line. We don't need to be fully aware of all the little factors that can affect our breathing at all times. Times, but there are some big items on the list that are worth mentioning. For example, our movement, our emotional state, and stress level, and the list goes on. In yoga, we emphasize a lot on observing our own natural rhythm of breath and connecting it to our movements. So every inhale and exhale becomes very purposeful. Not only that, when we slouch and crunch in, it affects our breathing and makes it shorter, it makes it more shallow than we normally would, and you would notice the difference. This heightened sense of awareness on our normal breathing pattern, that's a really good signal, a built-in sensor in our body to remind us when our posture is off to, hey, ooh, sit up straight. Posture is not just about how it looks, the aesthetics, the appearance, even though they're really nice cherry on top. Being in a good posture essentially let the body be in a place that it's destined to exist in. And a good posture also allows the fullest expression of our potential, either physically and or mentally. There are many ways to train for the stronger core to stretch out hands strings and to open up the chest so that you can find this good posture and personally I found yoga a really effective and efficient way to achieve all of that at once but that's just my personal choice you can choose any other physical practice that helps you build up the physicality and if you like today's video and would like to learn how you can actually do that on the mat you can sign up for my email list every month I send out a new yoga class under 30 minutes with a different thing such as yoga for better posture if that's something you would like to learn more the link is down in the description box until next time thank you and namaste